Hello movie lovers, Bob for Bob's movie review here and today I want to bring my unboxing and review of The Catcher Was a Spy on DVD. Be sure to click subscribe and click on the bell icon to be notified whenever I upload great new content. If you do enjoy the video, be sure to show it some love and give it a like rating. So this one includes DVD, The Catcher Was a Spy, based on a true story. Paul Rudd plays the role of his career. Uh, Paul Rudd, Mark Strong, Sienna Miller, Jeff Daniels with Guy Pierce and Paul Giamatti. This one is from Paramount Pictures, The Catcher Was a Spy. Artfully constructed a thriller with a lot more soul than most. The gripping espionage thriller brings to life the incredible true story of Mo Berg, the pro baseball player who became a World War II spy. The enigmatic Berg was already a man of mystery when in 1944 the US government's wartime intelligence agency recruited him to serve his country. The mission go behind enemy lines in Europe to assassinate the Nazi chief nuclear scientist before the Germans could develop an atomic bomb. Berg must rely on his formidable steel trap intellect in a high stakes game of cat and mouse with the fate of the world hanging in the balance. Special feature deleted scenes. This one is rated R for some sexuality, violence, and language and has a runtime of 94 minutes. If you guys have seen this one, I'd love to hear your thoughts down in the comment section below. Let's check out the inside. No artwork, just a plain gray DVD with the catcher as a spy on it. It's directed by Ben Lewin and stars Connie Nielsen, Jeff Daniels, Paul Rudd, Sienna Miller, Guy Pierce, Mark Strong, Paul Giamatti, Shay Wingham, and Tom Wilkinson. So this is the true story of a Red Sox catcher named Mo Berg, who eventually becomes a spy. Paul Rudd plays Mo Berg, and it kind of just lightly gets into the very end of his baseball career. You know, he's past his prime. Uh, he's nearing retirement. And I I didn't really 100% understand exactly how this happens. It happened so quickly in the movie, and, and they kind of glossed over it a little bit, I think. But he ends up somehow becoming a spy. And uh, he gets involved, basically, with trying to find and kill the leader of the Nazi scientists or, or physicists, I guess, would be more specific there. Um, they pretty much think that the Nazis are trying to make a atom bomb and they want to make sure they don't. So they, they kind of think, well, if we take out their, their head scientist, you know, they won't be able to. And Paul Rudd kind of has to infiltrate foreign lands and... Uh, meet up with this guy and uh, you know decide if he's going to kill him or not this was a pretty interesting movie you know it had a lot of stuff going on really you know it had sports a little bit you know a little bit it had war it had romance it had action you know it had a lot of everything and maybe that was kind of one of its downfalls it didn't really focus in on stuff enough i think paul rudd was really good in this you know he was doing like a lot of different languages and accents and I, th I thought he was good in this movie uh, Jeff Daniels he had a smaller part he was kind of like above above Paul Rudd or whatever you know like his boss I guess you'd call it and uh, it was an interesting movie I think it's definitely worth checking out unfortunately though with so many great movies of, of this style I just feel like it didn't really live up to some of those other ones uh, but it was definitely an enjoyable movie and worth checking out. Uh, so for a score on this one, guys, I'm going to give it a 6.5 out of 10. Hope you did enjoy my review. If you did, be sure to leave a like rating. Remember, you can find affiliate links to purchase this movie down in the description below. If you haven't already, check out suggested videos. Check out my website, bobsmoviereview.com. And I'll see you guys next time.